Heritage for the Blind, where every car donation counts and every person makes a difference. Call 1-800-983-6530 now. This advertisement is paid for by Heritage for the Blind. The Baseball Tonight Podcast. The Astros, we saw them the first Sunday night after the All-Star break, and I walked away from that like, these guys are absolutely convinced they're going to figure it out. The Baseball Tonight Podcast is on the ESPN app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Every season, big leaguers and little leaguers come together for one special MLB game, the Little League Classic. Such a reminder of everything that's good about baseball. You know, these kids bring it out. Give us a show for the kids. The MLB Little League Classic on Sunday Night Baseball. Phillies Nationals, Sunday at 7 Eastern on ESPN. DJ K Dub checking in previously on the Fine Bomb Show. Larry, uh, Larry, 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 hold on one second. Are you challenging Michael Bratton right now on this show? Absolutely. Because we can we can call Bratton right now and put him on with you. Come on, come on, Bratton, you clown. <laughs> the Paul Feinbaum Show, weekdays at three Eastern on the ESPN app and on the SEC Network. It all comes down to this. The PGA Tour FedEx Cup playoffs on ESPN+. Plus. Golf's biggest names competing for the PGA Tour's ultimate prize. A field of 70 face-off in this winner-take-all affair. Three tournaments, three consecutive weeks, one winner. Tune in for live coverage at the main feed, featured groups, and featured holes. Where's the FedEx Beginning August 10th and ending August 27th on ESPN+. Plus. Hey, it's Matt Jones coming up on Monday. We'll recap week two of NFL preseason games as well as get you ready for the opening weekend of college football. Yeah, it's coming. That and more beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. The Little League Softball World Series is the best time of the year. Two weeks filled with laughs, high fives, and sportsmanship. That's what it's all about. Little League Softball at its best. Igniting a lifelong love of the game. They just love to play. Sit back and enjoy. The Little League World Series presented by T-Mobile continues on the networks of ESPN. Tomorrow, Major League Baseball's Little League Classic returns. Quite a scene here in central Pennsylvania. The beauty of this event, every person in the stands is a kid. That's what Williamsport is all about. This is everything that's wrapped up to be. The Phillies and Nationals at the Little League Classic from Historic Bowman Field in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. It brings out your inner 12 world. I mean, we've all got it. Coverage begins tomorrow at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN. You can also watch and listen on the ESPN app. This is Sports Center all night on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Here's Jim Basquale. And ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle motorcycle, RV, and boat insurance. Visit progressive.com. Half hour headlines on Sports Center all night. Again, our top stories Julio Rodriguez, four more hits. That's 17 in four games, and that is a major league record. Same goes, same game, I should say. Jose Altuve picks up his 2000th career hit, but Seattle blasts Houston. Red Sox roll the Yankees, sending New York to their seventh trade loss. Mookie leads the Dodgers to a doubleheader sweep of the Marlins. Trey Turner almost twice in the same inning, and Lionel Messi leads Inter Miami to the League's Cup title. Hey, Tua is back for the Finns. Play action fake to him, throws down points. Picked off at the 25-yard line by the Texans and down to the four-yard line. Jimmy, he never saw him. He rolled out, good fake, rolled out outside the pocket to his left and never saw Denzel Perriman. That's 560 WQAM to a Tungo Valois first pass attempt in 237 days ended with the same result he had in his previous attempt, December 25th, 2022. 
an interception. The Dolphins quarterback, though, made his preseason debut Saturday against the Texans, playing in a live game for the first time since his second concussion in three months ended last season early. His second drive went much better as he led a 14-play, 93-yard drive capped by a two-yard scoring run by Raheem Mostert. The Dolphins uh, were 28-3 winners. Tua ending his day 5 of 7 for 61 yards. Houston rookie C.J. Stroud much sharper than he was in his NFL debut last week. He had 13 yards passing and two drives, 7 of 12, 60 yards through the air as well. How about another young quarterback? Love under center and second down. And he takes, fakes the handoff, gets a block from Dylan. Fires the left side. Jalen Reed reaching pylon. Touchdown. They beat Sean Wade, the veteran cornerback, and the Packers on the board. 19-yard touchdown pass, Jordan Love to the rookie, Jaden Reed. And that's 620 WTMJ, Jordan Love, 5 of 8, 84 yards in that scoring strike. Mac Jones, 6 of 9 for 52 yards. That game, though, suspended with 10-29 remaining in the fourth quarter. After Isaiah Bolden was stretchered off, New England led 21-17 at the time of the suspension. Bolden had feeling in all his extremities, uh, but was taken to a local hospital for further observation. Both coaches, Bill Belichick and Matt LaFleur. Obviously a very scary ending to the game right there. Um, thoughts and prayers to Isaiah Bolden and his family. Uh, you know, it's a scary situation, one that you never want to see in our game. And, um you know, I thought that it was in the best interest of both teams. We, Coach Belichick and I talked on the field and just to, to take the action that we took. So um, there was a lot of good work that we've had over the last couple of days, but it's hard to think about much of that. I just hope that that young man is going to be okay. You know, I think the last situation kind of, you know, in the bigger picture overrode the game. So, uh, you know, I'll say a prayer for uh, uh, Isaiah. Um, and, you know, well, we just released a statement on that, right? So that's, you know, all the information, that's the updated information that we have. Um, I appreciate the way the league handled it. I think that was the right thing to do. Mahomes keeping his feet moving, holding it. Now fires for the end zone. Late caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Justin Watson. As Mahomes, that patented just parallel run to the line of scrimmage and then unleashes a strike and getting open in the red zone, Justin Watson, and the Chiefs have the first touchdown of the game. Man, that's 106.5. The Wolf Patrick Mahomes saw his first extended action of the preseason, throwing for 105 yards, and that touchdown, Kansas City rolled Arizona 38-10. The reigning MVP for the defending Super Bowl champs playing the entire first quarter. Yeah, hit on. 10 of those 15 passes through the air. Mahomes had this on the importance of these preseason reps. It's a preseason game, um, and obviously the, the results don't necessarily matter, but they, they do if you want to be build a culture uh, of winning. Um, and we have a lot of young guys, and even though they won a Super Bowl, they have to know how to respond and get even better the second year. And so I think just having a better urgency um, from the get-go throughout the entire game um, not as much the result. You obviously want to win, but you want to have that that mentality throughout the entire game. Yeah, Brock Purdy, meantime, and Russell Wilson led their team to field goal drives on their only drives of the game. San Francisco beating Denver 21-20 on a field goal by rookie Jake Moody on the final play. He bounced back after missing two field goals last week and an extra point earlier in the game. Converted a 32-yarder after Trey Lance drove the Niners down the field in the closing minutes. He finished 12 of 18, 173 yards. Jimmy Garoppolo completed all four of his passes, 39 yards, leading a touchdown drive in his Raiders debut. Vegas went on to beat the Rams 34 to 17. Stetson Bennett threw for 142, 15 of 24 through the air. He also ran for a touchdown for the Rams. In the meantime, Baker Mayfield might have won Tampa Bay's starting job. He was held out of their preseason game against the New York Jets while Kyle Trask did play. He led two scoring drives, gave Tampa Bay a 10-6 lead. This game, though, had another injury to another Tampa QB. Here's the first snap, second series, dropping to Phil Wolford. Looks deep, looks deep, looks deep. Gets out of pressure. Now he's sacked at the 25-yard line. Probably should have pulled the trigger earlier, but could not find anybody open. Wanted to go deep. And he's quarterback sacked. Do we, do we have an he's injured down. player? Yeah, he's down. Looks like John Wolford got hurt. It sounded pretty bad. He got hit hard. Yeah. His teammates jumped up and yeah. immediately Bobby 
and his crew came yeah. running. Bobby Slater, his uh, yeah. medical crew, and it's going to look like doctors. it's right shoulder. Huh. He landed on that, similar to you remember Blaine Gabbard a couple years yeah. ago. But yeah, they're already looking over to the sideline, and more personnel are coming in. That's 98 Rock. Bucks third string quarterback John Walford was taken to a hospital because of a neck injury, carted off after being sacked against the Jets. He did have movement in his extremities after being evaluated at a local hospital. Shotgun snap. Here's Kenny throwing it to the end zone. Fire moves right down the middle for a Pittsburgh touchdown from 25 out. The big tight end from Penn State just went right down the uh, hash mark. And Kenny hit him perfectly, and he took a defender into the end zone. That's 102.5 FM WDVE. Kenny Pickett led a pair of quick strike scores. Steelers best. The Bills 27-15. Jalen Warren, 62-yard touchdown run on their opening touch. Josh Allen was 7-10 through the air, 64 yards for Buffalo. Safety, DeMar Hamlin had three tackles in his return to his hometown. Bunch to the left and a shotgun. Strains to the right. Better drop. Look. Fires left side. That ball's going to be caught. Parker Washington to the pylon. Touchdown. Parker Washington, a touchdown catch from C.J. Beathard. That's 10-10 XL, 92.5 FM. C.J. Beathard, a 15-yard scoring strike to Parker Washington late in the first half. Jacksonville beats Detroit 25-7. He filled in for Trevor Lawrence, says most of the starters for both teams watch this game to avoid injury. Teddy Bridgewater, a little shaky, sacked on his first snap, completed five of 11 passes for just 34 yards. Set eye to the right. Gonna run Spears that way. Nice hole. Jumps over a man to the 25, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, oh, to yeah, the 5. Okay. End zone. Touchdown, Titans. Tajay Spears showing us his Ronaldo Nehemiah. Jumping over a man in the high hurdles to take it. 33 yards to the house. You remember that name, Ronaldo Nehemiah? Yeah, that's the rookie out of Tulane. 1045 of the zone from 33 yards on that run. Titans racked up 281 yards of rushing without Derrick Henry on the field. Malik Willis ran for 91 yards, threw a touchdown pass, playing the entire game for Tennessee under center. Vikings did not play a single starter in this Tennessee 24-16 to victory. Minshew, great protection, stands in, dancing, dancing, floating. Now he's going to run to the right side, throws in a run to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. That's Jawan Winfrey, and the Colts are on the board with a touchdown in the receiving game. It's 6 to nothing with 10.51 to go until halftime. That's 10.70, the fan Gardner Minshew is scoring strike. He started, Sam Ellinger directed two. Fourth quarter touchdown drives. Jake Funk, a late touchdown run, gave the Colts a 24-17 comeback victory over the Bears. Neither starting quarterback played Justin Fields for Chicago or the rookie Anthony Richardson for Indianapolis. Meantime, Colts owner Jim Ursay on the situation with running back Jonathan Taylor. We're excited to have Jonathan Taylor back. Um, you know, I, I know these things are always difficult. I respect, you know, anytime people are, are you know, they're, they're trying to fight for their position, you know, um, for their families and all those things. And, and, you know, I've been around it so long. You know, I, I just think, you know, the biggest thing, you know, that I preach is, is just, okay, you know, timing is everything. And, and um, you know, we're really looking forward to him, you know, to playing his way into being the Jonathan Taylor he was. And, and, and we're really excited to have him. And uh, we want to do everything we can to, um, you know, support him and embrace him uh, as a Colt because he's a great young man. I can't say enough about him and his family. And, and, and so, um, you know, look, if you have these problems, you know how it is. You never go in with no problems at all. These days, you hope you have less contractual problems because the way the CBA is and they work a lot of the things through. But you have them. And, and that's what, uh, you know, I know Chris Ballard's going to work hard on and trying to uh, get the waters as calm as they can and, and go forward. Yeah, he's going into the final year of his contract looking for an extension. Keep it with the NFL. Saints Chargers game. Today will be played as originally scheduled amid the threat of a tropical storm hitting the area. On the subject of the Saints, tight end Jimmy Graham, in the midst of a medical episode and was disoriented, 
when he was taken into custody in the Los Angeles area, transported to a hospital. He was stopped by police Friday night while reportedly wandering in traffic and booked on suspicion of being under the influence of a controlled substance. Bad day, by the way, for the Williams brothers, both defensive backs. The Eagles cutting Greedy Williams while the Giants cut Rodarius Williams. Again, they are brothers. Geno Smith, 5 of 6, 46 yards. Seattle beating Dakless Dallas, 22 to 14. You're listening to Sports Center all night on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. UFC 292 main event bantamweight title. We're talking about Sugar Sean O'Malley and Funk Master Sterling. And this one was sudden the way it ended. Sterling on it. Wow is right. Second round TKO. Sugar Sean O'Malley getting it done. Had this post fight with Joe Rogan. Sean, you envisioned this. You trained for this. Did you expect it to go down the way it did? Honestly, this was the most nervous I've ever been for a fight. In my eyes, Aljamain Sterling is the best bantamweight of all time. So yeah, I was a little bit nervous for this fight, but I never lost the confidence because I know what I possess in this right here, baby! And Sean, take a look up at the screen, and I want you to enjoy this right hand because it was as pretty as any right hand that's ever been thrown inside the octagon. Look at this timing. Oh, let's see it again real quick. I said, uh, I said going into this fight, you have, it only takes one mistake against me. I don't even know if that was a mistake. I'm just that good. He was on this night. Chris Weidman returned Saturday against Brad Tavares after more than two years out because of a gruesome broken leg. He lost 30-27 to 27 on all three judges' scorecards. He had this with Megan Olivia on what it meant to return. Chris, we're sitting down. The legs went through a lot in this fight. But before we even talk about the fight, how do you feel right now? And what was the experience like making that walk back to the octagon and the walk out of it as well? Yeah, uh, it was uh, it was some experience. I really was uh, grateful the whole time um, just uh, to make that walk again, not knowing if I was going to be able to do this again, you know, to be back at an arena and, you know, have a fight week and make weight and everything I was really grateful for. Um the energy in the crowd was really something I was, uh, I can't, I can't thank him enough. It's like to have that much love, to have that many people around the world, kind of have a little un- understanding of what I've been through and what it took to get here and how they really came, uh, really came out hard to support me. Even uh, in a fight that I lost was really um Really uh, awesome for me. And co-main event, women's strawweight title. Magnum Wheely, uh, the two-time champ, dominated Amanda Lemos by unanimous decision. Coming up, we size up the Women's World Cup title game. Kirby Smart names his starter for the coming season. And the night's top plays all queued up. That's next. You're listening to the Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Matt Jones. Coming up on Monday, week zero in college football is here. Yeah, that's a thing. And I'm going to tell you what storylines I'm excited about. That and more beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. ESPN Radio, Sports Center all night. More next. Why do tacos get their own day of the week? Is it because Mondays are so rough? We need a Tuesday filled with beefy tortillas shared with good friends. If so... Why don't we have Wellington Wednesdays, Stroganoff Saturdays, and heck, Meatball Mondays? Then, Mondays would just be another reason to enjoy our favorite beef with our favorite people. Together, we bring more. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Funded by beef farmers and ranchers. It's official. Kroger is on a mission to deliver fresh groceries to your neighborhood. It's now easier than ever to save time and money on your grocery essentials with our low prices. 
And you can get all your favorites delivered extra fresh in our refrigerated trucks right to your door. Try Kroger delivery today and save $45 on your first three orders. Kroger, fresh for everyone. $35 minimum order excludes alcohol and gift cards. Offer valid on delivery only with digital coupon. You want to lose weight and get fit, but after a couple weeks, you fail. Well, it's not your fault because it's super fun and hard. Every try hasn't worked long term because it wasn't designed to fit into your life long term. I'm Carl and I want you to try my all in one health and fitness platform body free for 14 days where it's about enjoying life while you get healthy and lose weight. If you've struggled, I get it. But now it's your turn to succeed. Go to body.com now that's B O D I.com to try it free for 14 days. Back to school savings are red hot this year at Office Depot Office Max. Shop today and save up to 60% on our best selling school supplies from the brands you know and love, like Crayola, Sharpie, Texas Instruments, Five Star, and more. Plus, give your schoolwork a professional touch with deals on tech, including amazing savings on HP printers. Shop in store and at OfficeDepot.com to stock up and save on everything you need to start the new school year strong. Success is in session, and so are the savings at Office Depot Office Max. Whether you're doing a dance to your favorite artist in the office parking lot, or being guided into Warrior One in the break room before your shift, whether you're running on your Peloton tread at your mom's house while she watches the baby, or counting your breaths on the subway, inhaling and long exhaling. Peloton is for all of us, wherever we are, whenever we need it. Download the free Peloton app today. Peloton app available through free tier or paid subscription starting at $12.99 per month. Valspar Signature has everything you want in a paint and more. Rich color, smooth coverage, excellent stain resistance. And now Valspar Signature has one more thing to love. An all new low price starting at just $35.98 per gallon. Originally $39.98, this limited time offer begins August 3rd, only at Lowe's. Valspar, made for more. Valid through 926.23. See store or Lowe's.com for details. Price subject to change. At eBay, expert authenticators inspect every detail of select handbags, sneakers, This is Sports Center all night on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Here's Jim Basquo. Yeah, we're back on Sports Center all night with the Women's World Cup. Sweden has another bronze medal. As they are two to nothing winners over co host Australia, the Swedes extended their perfect record in the third place matches to four. It is the title game today is Spain against England. ESPN soccer analyst Alexis Nunes looks ahead. We're just two more saves from an historic night here in Sydney, Australia, as we await the final of the Women's World Cup. Because come Sunday, either England or Spain will lift the Women's World Cup title for the first time in their history. And it's two very different squads going into this final. We'll start with England, who are now in their first World Cup football final since 1966. But they do carry a lot of experience with them. They've undergone such a transformation in the last two years under manager Serena Vigman, having won the Euros last year. And a lot of those players are in the squad that will enter in this final. They come with a lot of experience and they are playing some ruthless football. On the other hand, you have Jorge Vilda's Spain. And Spain boasts one of the youngest teams we have seen all tournament. They've gone through a turbulent 12 months under Jorge Vilda. They have had a number of players who withdrew from the squad and then came back. But somehow they've managed to put it all together to play probably the most exciting football we have seen in this tournament. Plus, they have a certain player who has become an absolute superstar off the bench in Salma Paraguelo. And no doubt she will be a massive X factor in this game. And perhaps the World Cup trophy comes back to the birthplace of soccer for the first time in 57 years. If it does, it would be the women's squad, not the men getting it there for England. How about the night's top sounds about Leo playing a hero and milestone hits from the bigs. Dave Mager has the details. Number five. Rookie Stetson Bennett at quarterback for the Rams. Not terrible overall, but one really bad moment. A 50-yard interception return touchdown for the Raiders' Isaiah Polamau. The call on Raider Nation Radio 
9.20 a.m. Two to the left, one to the right here. As Bennett again is in the shotgun. It's looked good so far. He throws it away and it's picked off. Down the left side, the Raiders are going to have a home run touchdown. Raiders are going to score. Raider Nation United. That's a 45-yard return. What a play to the Silver and Black. Yes. Number four. Double header sweep for Arizona at San Diego. Gabriel Moreno with the slammer. The call on Arizona Sports 98.7. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep to left. This one has a chance. This one is gone. Clear the bases, Gabby. It's your first major league grand slam. And it's 8-1 Arizona in the top of the seventh inning. Number three. Little man, big career in Houston. Jose Altuve reaches 2,000 hits, just the third Astro to do that. The call on KBME 790. And that is ripped down a left field line. Hooking, will it stay fair? Yes, it will. Into the corner. Altuve racing the second. The throw in by Marlowe. The slide. And Altuve is out. But it is hit number 2,000 for Jose Altuve in his big league career. Number two. Julio Rodriguez of the Seattle Mariners, 17 hits in four games, major league record. Rick Riz, the call on Seattle Sports 710. Runner goes, Harrity swinging a line drive, base hit to left field. He ties the record, Harrity to third. He's going to be stopped there. The long throw in his second by Devon. The throw back to first, Julio dives back to the bag, and he's done it. Another four-hit ball game for Julio Rodriguez. Four hits or more in four consecutive games. He ties Milt Stock. Yes, that Milt Stock back in 1925 with the Brooklyn Robins. And the hit show just continues for Julio Rodriguez. Number one. Lionel Messi. Ten goals now in just seven games with Inter-Miami. He also scores on a penalty kick as Miami beats Nashville in a tournament final. The call on Apple TV Plus. Taylor coming behind as well. Kramaski in the middle. Taylor cutting it to his right, trying to get it to Kramaski. Lionel Messi around Zimmerman. Messi! Let us repeat this. Seven match win streak, 10 goals for Messi, League's Cup title since he joined a team that had just five regulation wins during the regular season. Unbelievable the turnaround with him on board. Coach Kirby Smart announcing Carson Beck as starter on Saturday. Beck backed up Stetson Bennett last season. He won the job over Brock Vandegrift and Gunnar Stockton, dogs coach on the decision. Uh, Carson Beck is, is going to be our starting quarterback. He's, he's, he's done the best job. Uh, we've communicated that uh, earlier in the week to the other quarterbacks, and we've kind of been operating uh, that way. And the other guys uh, have done a tremendous job in terms of competing, um, and they're, they're going to continue to do that. You know, the, We haven't said anything in terms of who the second quarterback is or how those reps are going to be divvied up, but uh, Carson is, is ahead of the other guys in terms of what he understands about the offense. Yeah, he joins a team that's all about championships, so the odds and the pressure will be there. Scotty Scheffler, Matt. Matt Fitzpatrick tied for the lead going into the final round of the BMW Championship, which decides the top 30 to make it to the FedEx Cup final next week. Coming up, the Yankees' woes continue while Julio is all about being hot with that bat. That's next. You're listening to Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Matt Jones. Coming up on Monday, we'll tell you which Super Bowl contender won't be able to overcome their biggest flaws this season. That and more beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. The top headlines are next. On- hey, Pandora listeners. Summer's winding down, and we know you want to enjoy what's left of it. But before you celebrate this Labor Day weekend, plan ahead and know all your options. If you drink, don't get behind the wheel. Instead, designate a sober driver or catch a ride service. And if you are the designated sober driver, commit to staying sober. Celebrate responsibly and remember to drive sober or get pulled over. This message brought to you by the Florida Department of Transportation. 
Deals on the McD app are kind of like cool breezes on a hot summer day. You don't know when they're coming, but when they hit, <sighs> there's nothing quite like them. Save time and get back to summer fun when you order ahead on the app. Pick up a juicy, tender McCrispy, golden fries, and a refreshing Dr. Pepper. It's 25% off your entire order when you spend $1 using mobile order and pay on the McD app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Offer valid 6123 through 123 at participating McDonald's. Valid once a day. Dr. Pepper is a registered trademark of Dr. Pepper 7-Up Inc. It's official. Kroger is on a mission to deliver fresh groceries to your neighborhood. It's now easier than ever to save time and money on your grocery essentials with our low prices. And you can get all your favorites delivered extra fresh in our refrigerated trucks right to your door. Try Kroger delivery today and save $45 on your first three orders. Kroger, fresh for everyone. $35 minimum order excludes alcohol and gift cards. Offer valid on delivery only with digital coupon. You want to lose weight and get fit, but after a couple weeks, you fail. Well, it's not your fault because it's super f***ing hard. Every try hasn't worked long term because it wasn't designed to fit into your life long term. I'm Carl, and I want you to try my all-in-one health and fitness platform, Body, free for 14 days, where it's about enjoying life while you get healthy and lose weight. If you've struggled, I get it. But now it's your turn to succeed. Go to Body.com now. That's B-O-D-I dot com to try it free for 14 days. This week at Macy's, use your coupon or Macy's card to take an extra 20% off on top of great summer deals. Like 20% off shoes and sandals for any outfit. 25% off jeans she'll love from INC and more. And get 50% off swim for her. Plus, Star Rewards members earn rewards on every purchase except gift cards, services, and fees. Learn more at Macy's.com slash Star Rewards. Savings off sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. When you open a Coke this summer, get ready to hear a different sound. The sound of you arriving at a music festival. The sound of new collabs from artists like New Genius, Sam Smith, and Imagine Dragons. The sound of chances to win signed merch. Oh my God. Drink and scan your Coke and enjoy endless music experiences with Coke Studio. No purchase necessary. 13 plus 50 USDC and 831. Rolls Coke.com slash Coke Studio USA. Copyright 2023. The Coca-Cola Company. Hey guys, this is Kenan Thompson. I have a problem with you. Yes, you. None of y'all told me that Auto Trader has millions of new and used cars that I can shop from home. I thought we were friends. I put smiles on your face, but I'm not smiling. No one told me that with Auto Trader, a dealer can deliver cars to my home or that I could shop by price on Auto Trader. No one. Consider this friendship that you just learned we had officially over. Finally, it's easy. Auto Trader. I need a degree from a university that understands what it's like to juggle school and a busy work schedule. I thought higher education wasn't built for me. Then I discovered WGU. I take courses on my own time, set my own deadlines, test when I'm ready. A respected degree from an accredited university built with working adults in mind? I choose WGU. Learn more at www.wgu.edu slash University of U. You know what sounds good? Like, really, really good? A breakfast bagel at McDonald's, and guess what? They're back. I'm talking about those fresh... Center all night. Week two of the NFL preseason continues with familiar faces. Mahomes keeping his feet moving, holding it. Now fires for the end zone. Late caught. Touchdown. Kansas City, Justin Watson. Teams in Major League Baseball look to make their push towards the playoffs. 3 2. Drive out towards right center, headed towards the bullpen. Back is Garcia, and it is gone. The back-to-back national champions announced their new starting quarterback. Uh, Carson Beck is, is going to be our starting quarterback. He's, he's, he's done the best job. Uh, we've communicated that. And the Yankees' struggle continues. We're sick animals in a, in a lot of ways. It's a grind of the sport. we got to come ready and fight our way through this. 
This is Sports Center All Night. To blame Aaron Boone, I think, would just be to take a pound of flesh out of somebody because you have to throw something to the masses. Here's Jim Basquill. Very, very true. Lionel Messi is a champion again. Patrick Mahomes shines. Tua returns. Welcome to Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Plenty ahead in the show like a host of preseason kickoffs from the NFL. But we begin with history two times over in H-Town. Don't look now. It may not be a Texas two-step at the top of the American League West after all. The M's are coming, but not before some history was made in Houston. Jose Altuve became the third Astros player to hit for two grand. And that is ripped down the left field line. Hooking, will it stay fair? Yes, it will. Into the corner. Altuve racing the second. The throw in by Marlowe. The slide. And Altuve is out. But it is hit number 2,000 for Jose Altuve in his big league career. That's KBME 790 AM. His fifth inning knock made him the newest member of the 2000 hit club. Hall of Famers Craig Biggio and Jeff Bagwell also reached 2000 hits with the Astros. Both were in attendance on Saturday night. They also witnessed this. Runner goes, Haggerty swinging a line drive, base hit to left field. He ties the record, Haggerty to third. He's going to be stopped there. The long throw in his second by Devon. The throw back to first. Julio dives back to the bag, and he's done it. Another four-hit ball game for Julio Rodriguez. Four hits or more in four consecutive games. He ties Milt Stock. Yes, that build stock back in 1925 with the Brooklyn Robins. And the hit show just continues for Julio Rodriguez. What more can you say about him of late Seattle Sports 710 AM? Julio Rodriguez set a major league record with his 17th hit in four games, helping the Mariners pass the Astros 10-3. That's their fifth straight win. Rodriguez with a single to left in the seventh inning, as you just heard, broke the major league record set in 1925 guy by the name of Milt Stock of the Brooklyn Robins. He finished four for six, did Julio, giving him a fourth consecutive four-plus hit game. The four straight four-hit games are tied with Stock for the longest such streak ever, according to ESPN Stats and Information. Rodriguez, 17 for 21. That's an 8-10 clip during his four-game stretch. They also got plenty of offense on this night. Here's the pitch. Swung on and a high fly ball to left field out toward the Crawford boxes. This one is gone into the Crawford boxes. Dylan Moore with a two-home run night. High in the air to straightaway left field as Devon just ran out of room. And for the Mariners, their ninth run of the game, they now lead the Astros by a score of 9-2. to two. Yeah, Dylan Moore went out twice. Logan Gilbert surrendered just two runs, his 14th quality start of the season. Mariners are 13-3 and three in their last 16 games. They pull within a game and a half back of the Astros for the second AL wildcard spot, maintain a half-game lead over the Blue Jays for third and final wildcard spot. By the way, they're only four games out of first in the American League West. They fooled themselves into thinking we don't have to make major changes. Let's go sign Rodon. DJ LeMay is going to be better. We like Rizzo. They couldn't foresee he's going to have a concussion. I think they thought they were going to be a lot better. It's embarrassing and it's disappointing. Yeah, Yankees riding a six-game slide into their matchup with the Red Sox on Saturday. That's their longest such skid since 2021 at 60 and 62. The woes would continue, though. As Cole delivers and a ball drilled out toward left center field and deep into the alleyway. It is gone! A grand slam! Luis Arias hits it out into the Boston bullpen. A slam by Arias. His second slam this season. And it's a 4 nothing Boston lead. Yeah, and that's all they really needed. Julio Urias became the first Red Sox player to hit grand slams on consecutive pitches. And the first in 80 years to hit slams in consecutive games as the Red Sox again rolled the Yankees 8-1, to sending New York to their seventh straight loss. Cutter Crawford took a Noah hitter over five and a third until Aaron Judge homered for a second straight game. Garrett Cole, meantime, hit for six runs over four innings. His manager, Aaron Boone, continues to stay positive. Earlier today, you mentioned that you f- you feel like a turnaround is coming. You, you guys have won one series since the end of June. Mm-hmm. Why do you feel like that's possible? I mean, you're going to keep asking because that's what we do. And that we have no other choice. I don't not think a turnaround's coming. So we're just going to get to work 
And and I, I know it's a boring answer for you guys, but we got we got to try and come win a ball game tomorrow. And and expect when we walk in those doors, today's the day. That's that's how we look at it. That's how we. That's what we are. We're sick animals in a, in a lot of ways. All right. It's a grind of the sport. We got to we got to we got to come ready to go tomorrow and fight our way through this. And through this, you reveal, you know, you, you find out about people and, and you get your character revealed and, and you got to keep showing up. And, and when you're taking your lumps and it's not easy, that's what we continue to do. And we and we'll continue to expect to turn it around. If it doesn't. Which is a long shot. Michael K says there may be a fall guide and maybe the guy you just heard. Well, I don't think it's fair because I think he's been in, in total um, lockstep with the with the organization. This is organizational. Uh, it's obviously the composition of the roster. And this is a real collaborative effort that the Yankees have put together over the years. So I think that Boone certainly manages the team from the first pitch until the last pitch. But he manages it off of information that he's given from upstairs and numbers and things like that. It's a heavily analytic team, which isn't a pejorative statement, but a lot of teams are. The Dodgers are, and they're doing just fine. Tampa Bay is. But the Yankees, their numbers this year have not panned out. And to blame Aaron Boone, I think, would just be to take a pound of flesh out of somebody because you have to throw something to the masses. They're very, very upset. They're not happy with the way the team is playing. I certainly understand it. And I think that Aaron would end up being the scapegoat. Again, seven straight losses for the first time since September 4th through the 10th of 2021 at 60 and 63. The Yankees are three games under this late in the season for the first time since August 30th of 1995. The postgame extra from the men who had the call of the game right here on ESPN Radio, Greg Olson and Roxy Bernstein. All right, Jim. Well, two teams that are clearly headed in opposite directions. The Red Sox, 8 out of 12. They have won. The Yankees have dropped seven straight. It's turning ugly for the Yankees. And today, the Red Sox beat them up 8-1, to one, hitting three homers. It was really disappointing. I was expecting a lot more effort. You got your ace on the mound, Garrett Cole. The Yankees had been 9-2 and two when he's pitching, coming off of a loss. You're expecting some effort. You're expecting some motivation. And from the get-go, Garrett Cole was off. The offense has been off, and Cutter Crawford took advantage. The Red Sox win again easily. Six straight times the Red Sox have now beaten the Yankees. Cutter Crawford carried a no-hitter into the sixth before Aaron Judge homered. But Garrett Cole, his shortest start of the year, lasted four innings, giving up a couple of homers, including a slam to Luis Arias in the second. Connor Wong, a two-run shot in the fourth inning. Later, Rafael Devers would homer. But Boston's hitting their stride. Greg, they've won eight out of 12, and they're hanging right in this American League wildcard race. Yeah, and they're getting a lot of production from the bottom of the lineup. Urias today, another a grand slam, as you said. Connor Wong, a home run. Pablo Reyes, three hits in the seventh spot. They're getting production all the way up and down. And then you throw in Cutter Crawford throwing really well, and they have a top four bullpen. And the Red Sox, who have owned the Yankees so far this year, continue that domination today. And, and for the Yankees, honestly, Greg, I have no idea where they go. I don't know what you do. I, honestly, I, I, I'm going to be shocked if Aaron Boone does not close the door and let it rip today because that effort was not what you needed when you're got on a six-game losing streak and you're trailing this many games in the wild card. So the Red Sox beat up on the Yankees 8-1. to one. They win it at Yankee Stadium as Boston has won 8 out of 12. Seven consecutive losses for the New York Yankees who fall three games below 500. Cutter Crawford, the winner over Garrett Cole. Three homers for the Red Sox. For Greg Olson, I'm Roxy Bernstein right here at your home. For Major League Baseball, ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. Now we go back to Jim Vasquez in the studio. All right, Roxy, thanks so much. The defending National League champs muscle up in our nation's capital. And he swings and launches one deep left field, and that one has put the Phillies on top as Trey Turner unloads on a 2-0 delivery from Corey Abbott. It's his 13th homer of the season, and the Phillies lead it for the first time today. It's 4-3. to three. Turner swings, hits one deep, oh. and that one's going to go. Yeah. And Turner goes back-to-back back with Bryson Stott. 
And in back-to-back at-bats. In the same inning, Trey Turner hit two home runs in the eighth inning, as heard on Sports Radio 94 WIP. Philadelphia went deep five times in a 12-3 clubbing of the Nationals. They're three and a half up on San Francisco for the race for the top wild card spot in the National League. Tune in to the Little League Classic live from Williamsport tonight as the Phillies battle those Nationals once again. Coverage of Sunday Night Baseball begins at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio, the ESPN. ESPN app and at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Phillies manager Rob Thompson on what he most looks forward to in that Little League Classic. What are you uh, looking forward to the most about just kind of getting out there and seeing those kids? And- I think that's it, is, is seeing the kids and, and just their entry level, you know, because that's it's a big deal. And, and, and also the complex there. Um, I, I hope we get a chance to to move around and see you know, where the kids stay and, and all that stuff because it's really interesting to me. You're listening to Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio and the ESPN app. I'm Jim Basquale. Saturday night off for the League's Cup final, Inter Miami and Nashville. Lionel Messi came in with nine goals and six matches with Inter Miami and had the club on a six match winning streak. They go from the league doormat, perhaps the League's Cup champ, all on Messi's watch, and this is what he produced in the game. Taylor coming behind as well. Gramaski in the middle. Taylor coming into his right, trying to get it to Gramaski. Oh, Lionel Messi around Zimmerman. Messi! heard on Apple TV Plus. Are you kidding me with Lionel Messi? He scored his 10th goal in seven games since joining Miami. Gave his squad the early advantage. Then converted his first shot in penalty kicks. Miami beat Nashville 10-9 on penalties and claimed the league's a cup of final as they claimed their first trophy. Yes, they got it done. 10-9 and 11-round penalty kick shootout. ESPN FC analyst Hercules Gomez on Leo's impact on this team from Miami. I was joking about it during the penalty kick shootout, how funny and how cool it is to see Messi nervous, anxious in a shootout, in a League's Cup shootout against Nashville SC. Of all the venues that he's been to, of all the situations he has been in, World Cup champion, Copa America, Champions League, at the biggest of moments. And here he is in Nashville, and he looks tense. He looks nervous. Oh, He's he was, cheering he his teammates on. It, it, it kind of just blew my mind. Uh, I, I'd love to sit here and say that th- the game won, soccer won. But sometimes it's not like that. If you're a Nashville fan, you would say, well, this should have been our moment. You know, we presented some very good football throughout the tournament. Uh, we did it the hard way. Look where we're at. Look at the road to get here. But Inter Miami, with everything they were struggling with and up against, came into this tournament and were a completely different team. Amazing. Amazing what Lionel Messi did for this team, really, from worst to first. Coming up, Mookie and the Dodgers have a fish fry, and he honors LeBron. We explain on deck. That's next. This is Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio. Hey, it's Matt Jones coming up on Monday. The Packers, the Patriots, and the Steelers, they haven't finished last in their division in a long time. I'll tell you why one team is destined to break the streak. That and more beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio, ESPN2, and ESPNU. This is Sports Center All Night on ESPN Radio. Before Shopify, were you wondering, where are my sales at? Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> Sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Start your free trial today at shopify.com slash specialoffer23. Shopify.com slash specialoffer23. It's official. Kroger is on a mission to deliver fresh groceries to your neighborhood. It's now easier than ever to save time and money on your grocery essentials with our low prices. And you can get all your favorites delivered extra fresh in our refrigerated trucks right to your door. Try Kroger delivery today and save $45 on your first three orders. Kroger, fresh for everyone. $35 minimum order excludes alcohol and gift cards. Offer valid on delivery only with digital coupon. 
Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is this. Let's go, let's go. Show up on day one, work out with us for 30 minutes, feel good right away. Yo. Repeat five days a week for three weeks. We're a body, and we call that a body block. Take the fourth week off, and then start again. Choose a new body block each month. Have fun, avoid burnout, reach your goals. But you're not gonna quit on yourself today. You win? Start a body block today. Visit body.com for a free trial. That's B-O-D-I dot com. Wake up, people. You are optimizing every waking hour of your life. From carpooling kids to work to friends and everything in between, you have to get sleep and a bed that can perform as well as you do. Meet the next generation Sleep Number Smart Bed. It effortlessly adjusts to your shape, position, and movements. Learning how you sleep so you learn to sleep better night after night. Sleep next level only from Sleep Number. It's the biggest sale of the year. Save 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus free home delivery when you add a base. Ends Monday. Is the Peloton bike even worth it? Isn't it just a bike? Uh, just a bike with low-impact rides for chill people to chill with, with 5- and 10-minute cooldowns for cool people to be cool with, and scenic rides for vibey people to vibe with. It's just a bike with a 30-day home trial so you can see if you're any one of those people. Try a Peloton Bike or Bike Plus at home for 30 days. And if it's not for you, return it for a full refund. First-time bike and bike plus purchasers only. One trial per household. Upfront payment required. Full terms at onepeloton.com slash home dash trial. The waves were mighty and fierce as could be when my lady and I got lost at sea. We tossed and turned and we nearly drowned when my brave little boat went down. Huh. Whoa, 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 no, none of that's true. You haven't had a date in a year or two. The sea was calm and the sky was clear and you crashed right into the pier. Yeah, fine. Accidents don't just happen in sea shanties, so Progressive Boat Insurance has you covered. Take as little as four minutes to see what you can save at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates covered subject to policy terms and not available for all boats or in all situations. Watch parties aren't what they used to be ever since we got Xfinity. Now that kids can easily stream all their favorite stuff, they just have to worry about what's on the charcuterie board. Are these just cut up hot dogs and spray cheese? The best way to stream your favorites is on the Xfinity 10G network. Now through August 28th, get Xfinity Internet for $30 a month for 12 months with no annual contract. Plus, add Now TV for just $20 a month. Switch today. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Now TV requires Xfinity Internet. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. At Granger, we're for the ones who pay attention to every little detail. The ones who fuss, tinker, and sweat the small stuff. Because you know the tiniest thing can make the biggest difference when it comes to keeping business moving. We get it. We're the same way. Offering access to product experts to help you quickly and easily find what you need. So whatever your industry, you know you're always getting professional-grade products. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Deals on the McD app are kind of like cool breezes on a hot summer day. You don't know when they're... Here's Jim Basquiat. Yeah, we're back on Sports Center all night. A trio of double headers from the big Saturday because of the threat of Hurricane Hillary making landfall in Southern California later today. That includes the Dodgers and Marlins. Robertson delivers and Betts bangs a base hit in the left center field. Here comes Hernandez. Barnes on his way home and he scores. Mookie knocks in two. The Dodgers lead three to one. That's Charlie Steiner, AM 570 LA Sports. Mookie Betts two run knock in that a three run eighth inning. A Dodgers beat the Marlins three one in the opener. Their split double a header. They bounce back from that 11 3 loss Friday night. Betts though back at it in the nightcap. And there's a high fly ball to left center field. Mookie hits his second home run of the night and his 34th of the year. And the Dodgers lead 3-1. to one. What a second half for Mookie Betts. Oh, is he on fire? Yeah, Betts homer twice, leading the Dodgers to another 3-1 win to finish off that doubleheader sweep. He saluted Lakers star LeBron James, who is sitting in a suite with his family on his bobblehead night. L.A. improved to 17-2 and in the month of August. Reach all the way to Eddie, the high fly ball to deep center field. Back to the wall, Slater, fly! Drills it out of the ballpark, and the Braves have the lead of the eighth. Oh, 
Oh, my goodness. This place is bouncing here in Atlanta. That's 6 to the fan. Eddie Rosario, he's been on a tear. Four hits. Go ahead. Two-run home run in the eighth. Braves best the Giants 6-5. That's their fifth straight win. He ro- drove in three for those winners. 3-2. Drive out towards right center, headed towards the bullpen. Back is Garcia, and it is gone. Willie Thomas with a solo homer. He's got his second consecutive three-hit game. And 620 WTMJ, Willie Adamas, four for four, two knocked in. A Brewer, 6-1 over the Rangers. Carlos Santana, homer for a second consecutive day, fourth time in the past six games. Rangers lost their third consecutive game for the first time since July 30th. Texas batter struck out a season high eight times. Schneider pummels the ball to left field. Going back, Fairchild, forget about it. Solo home run, Davis Schneider, his third as a major leaguer, and the Blue Jays jump in front, four to three. And that's Sportsnet 590, the fan, Davis Schneider, a tie-breaking home run. Blue Jays 4-3 over L.A. De La Cruz and the Reds. Bo Bichette, a run-scoring single in his return to the lineup. Cruz had two hits for Cincinnati, including a wild run around the bases in the fourth. That was like a Little League home run, but this was a traditional one. Bellinger now with 19 home runs, drives one in the air, left center. This ball's got a chance. Bellinger strikes again. That's the Cubs radio network. Cody Bellinger homer twice. Cubs top the Royals six of four. Bobby Witt Jr., though, three more hits for KC in the loss. Here's the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball, deep to left. This one has a chance. This one is gone. Clear the bases, Gabby. It's your first major league grand slam. And it's 8-1 Arizona in the top of the seventh inning. Arizona Sports 98.7 FM. Gabriel Moreno, a grand slam. Drove in five. Arizona over San Diego to sweep a day-night double. Header as Tommy Pham hit a two-run home run and tripled to lead the Snakes in the opener 6-4. to four. Meantime, the Bucks get it done against the Twins. And the 2-2. McCutcheon swings and sends one deep to center field. Back to the wall and gone. Home run for Andrew McCutcheon over the 20. 20- Three foot wall in right center. Career home run number 298. He's driven in five tonight, and the Pirates lead it 7-3. That wound up as a game winner in the ninth as it was a 7-4 final. Sports Radio 93-7. The fan with that call. Mitch Keller struck out a dozen in six frames for the Bucks. The O's continue to roll. The pitch home. Ground ball up the middle. It's through. In the center field for a base hit. Frazier scores, and the Orioles take the lead. RBI single for Mount Castle, and it's 3-2 to two Baltimore. Yeah, that single is the go-ahead knock as part of a five-run tenth. The AL East leading Baltimore Orioles, best Oakland 7-2. Harold Ramirez uh, drove in a career high, had four hits. Isak Paredes, three hits, including a three-run home run. Tampa Bay routes the LA Angels 18-4 to gain a doubleheader split after losing the opener 7-6. The Mets get a granny from Daniel Vogel back in four hits from Francisco Lindor as they top the Cardinals 3-2. Pete Alonso hit a home run, made up for accidentally tossing Cardinals rookie Mason Wynn's first major league hit into the crowd the day prior, sent him an autograph bat as well as a bottle of Don Julio 1942 tequila. We also got the ball. This was Alonzo on what happened. I feel horrible. Um, I, I feel awful. I, I, I didn't mean to. I, I didn't. I, would, I know it sounds stupid, but it is just a, a, a bad brain fart. I know uh, throwing the ball in the stands, that, that robs uh, that robs him of a kind of a, a really special moment. But. But he made up for it, that's for sure. Uh, Meantime, from the NBA, the league has launched an inquiry into the circumstances surrounding James Harden's public admonishment of Daryl Morey. The league office is pursuing an understanding of whether Harden was warning of a holdout and referencing a contract discussion that might constitute salary cap circumvention. We'll see how that one plays out. We'll see if he reports to camp on time. Coming up, we'll rip through the NFL full slate of preseason games, including Patrick Mahomes and the defending champs. That's next. This is ESPN Radio. Greeny. I was really galled by what Jim Irsay said. If I hear one more person say it is a privilege to be in the National Football League, I'm going to smash my head against a wall. Weekday mornings at 10 Eastern on 
Hey, Pandora listeners, summer's winding down, and we know you want to enjoy what's left of it. But before you celebrate this Labor Day weekend, plan ahead and know all your options. If you drink, don't get behind the wheel. Instead, designate a sober driver or catch a ride service. And if you are the designated sober driver, commit to staying sober. Celebrate responsibly and remember to drive sober or get pulled over. This message brought to you by the Florida Department of Transportation. You know what sounds good? Like, really, really good? A breakfast bagel at McDonald's, and guess what? They're back. I'm talking about those freshly toasted bagels with real butter. Like a tender steak, egg, and cheese bagel? Or how about a delicious apple with smoked bacon, egg, and cheese bagel? Or maybe you'll go for a savory and tasty sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. No matter which one you choose, it's the breakfast bagel you've been waiting for. And it's back. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I participate in McDonald's. It's official. Kroger is on a mission to deliver fresh groceries to your neighborhood. It's now easier than ever to save time and money on your grocery essentials with our low prices. And you can get all your favorites delivered extra fresh in our refrigerated trucks right to your door. Try Kroger delivery today and save $45 on your first three orders. Kroger, fresh for everyone. $35 minimum order excludes alcohol and gift cards. Offer valid on delivery only with digital coupon. Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is this. Let's go, let's go! Show up on day one, work out with us for 30 minutes, feel good right away. Yo! Repeat five days a week for three weeks. We're a body, and we call that a body block. Take the fourth week off, and then start again. Choose a new body block each month. Have fun, avoid burnout, reach your goals. But you're not gonna quit on yourself today. You win? Start a body block today. Visit body.com for a free trial. That's B-O-D-I dot com. Find the perfect paint or stain for your outdoor projects right now at Lowe's. Keep your home looking beautiful with the top brands you know and love, like HGTV Home by Sherwin-Williams, Valspar, Cabot, and Purdy. And bring home the look for less with our everyday low prices. Head to your local Lowe's or order online for in-store or curbside pickup to get started. Lowe's knows paint. Lowe's knows home improvement. Wake up, people. You are optimizing every waking hour of your life. From carpooling kids, to work, to friends, and everything in between, you have to get sleep. And a bed that can perform as well as you do. Meet the next generation Sleep Number Smart Bed. It effortlessly adjusts to your shape, position, and movements. Learning how you sleep, so you learn to sleep better, night after night. Sleep next level, only from Sleep Number. It's the biggest sale of the year. Save 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus free home delivery when you add a base. Ends Monday. Yo, hip-hop's turning 50. Sprite celebrating. We're giving away a summer full of drops. Just scan your favorite flavor, bottle or can, and get what's hot. Cool? Now back to whatever you were listening to. Sprite, celebrating 50 years of hip-hop. It's official. Kroger is on a mission to deliver fresh groceries to your neighborhood. It's now easier than ever to save time and money on your grocery essentials with our low prices. And you can get all your favorites delivered extra fresh in our refrigerated trucks right to your door. Try Kroger delivery today and save $45 on your first three orders. Kroger, fresh for everyone. $35 minimum order excludes alcohol and gift cards. Offer valid on delivery only with digital coupon. Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is this. Let's go! Let's go! Show up on day one, work out with us for 30 minutes, feel good right away. Yo! Repeat five days a week for three weeks. We're a body, and we call that a body block. Take the fourth week off. This is Sports Center all night on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Here's Jim Basquale. And ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle motorcycle, RV, and boat insurance. Visit Progressive.com. Half hour headlines on Sports Center all night. Again, our top stories Julio Rodriguez, four more hits. That's 17 in four games, and that is a major league record. Same goes. 
Same game, I should say. Jose Altuve picks up his 2,000th career hit, but Seattle blasts Houston. Red Sox roll the Yankees, sending New York to their seventh trade loss. Mookie leads the Dodgers to a doubleheader sweep of the Marlins. Trey Turner almost twice in the same inning, and Lionel Messi leads Inter Miami to the League's Cup title. Hey, Tua is back for the Finns. Play action fake to him, throws down picks. Picked off at the 25-yard line by the Texans. And down to the four-yard line. Jimmy, he never saw him. He rolled out. Good fake. Rolled out outside the pocket to his left. 